What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So if you're like me, if you're somebody who is actively trying to improve your mental health, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, so I thought we'd, <laughs> we'd make things a little bit more lighthearted and talk about something a little bit more fun than the current situation going on in the world. But I don't want to discount it either. Right now, we are doing a lot of social distancing. I made a video about uh, taking care of your mental health during this time yesterday, so I'll link that up in the info card. Go check that out. But during this time of social distancing, and I am extremely empathetic to anybody out there who is out of work right now. I have a lot of friends here in Las Vegas who are. But now is the best time to start reading, okay? Like, something you should be doing during this social distancing time. Uh, I know a lot of people are binging Netflix and Hulu and all those other streaming services, but read, 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 okay? Some of you know I read a ton of books. It is currently March 17th. I just finished my 37th book of the year, all right? And I get I get some, you know, nasty comments. I get a lot of great comments, but some nasty comments are like, who cares if you read a lot of books on psychology and mental health? You're not a licensed professional. Well, I know that, silly, but something I was talking with my beautiful girlfriend Tristan about yesterday is I wish I could get people to understand that the more you learn about your own mental health, the better you could take care of your mental health. As somebody with a generalized anxiety disorder, depression, I'm in recovery from addiction, understanding what my brain is doing is fantastic. And that's why I love reading about these types of books, like the books from, you know, Katie Morton, the books from uh, Lori Gottlieb, everything like that. But I also read a, book, a bunch of books from psychologists and everything. The best way I can explain it is, it's like being a mechanic for your brain, all right? Imagine a car, you know, you're driving and you don't know much about cars, and your car gets a little light on the dashboard or it makes a weird noise. If you don't know anything about cars, you're gonna freak out. But if you know a little bit about cars, you could be like, oh, I know what this is. This isn't a huge issue. Same thing that's going on with our brains, all right? So anyways, let's jump into this real quick, all right? And some of you know over on Instagram and Twitter, I've talked about starting a booktube channel. I haven't yet, but make sure you follow me on Instagram and uh, Twitter, okay? But yeah, on the day it launched, the day it launched, because I support YouTubers, I got this book right here, okay? Those of you who don't know, this is Are You Okay? by YouTube's very own therapist, uh, Katie Morton. Many of you know her from um, some of the Shane Dawson videos, like the one on, you know, uh, Jake Paul, Inside the Mind, that stirred up a little bit of controversy. Uh, she also made an appearance on um, uh, the one he did, bringing back uh, Eugenia Cooney, and yeah, um, Katie Morton is a licensed uh, marriage and family therapist. She specializes in eating disorders, okay? And I know she did a couple of videos with Eugenia Cooney. But anyway, she released this book. I got it the first day. Um, after picking up the book from Barnes & Noble on the first day, I remembered, I'm like, oh yeah, Chris, you kind of like audio books. So I actually bought two copies of Katie Morton's books. Katie, if you're seeing this, you're welcome, all right? But after I did my first review of this book last was it fall or summer? Whatever it came out, I had so many people, so many people like, yo, have you read Maybe You Should Talk to Someone by Lori Gottlieb? And like, I got this all the time. And I saw this was like a, a New York Times bestseller. Um, and finally, finally, I decided to check it out. And I, I couldn't put it down. I binged it in hmm, three, about two and a half days, about two and a half days. Started it Saturday, finished it yesterday, which was Monday. Who cares? <laughs> but anyways, I finished the book really quick because I am social distancing, all right? So let's compare these two books. So in Katie Morton's book, all right, Are You Okay? A Guide to Caring for Your Mental Health, How to Know If You Need Help and Where to Find It, okay? What I absolutely love about this book what I love about this book is it explains the therapeutic process in a very, very good way. I was, I was not expecting this. Um, I didn't even know what this book was about, you know, but Katie Morton does a great job 
making you feel comfortable with going to therapy, as well as understanding which route for therapy is the best for you. A question I get all the time is like, you know, should I see a therapist? Should I see a psychiatrist? Should I see a psychologist? You know, what's the difference? You know, all these other things. Katie Borden breaks that ish down. All right, she breaks it down every level of mental health professional and what they specialize in, when to see them and all that. So that's very important because I know a lot of people are afraid to get therapy. Even the thought of finding a therapist makes them extremely anxious. Some people are depressed and don't even wanna pick up the phone. By reading this book, you will feel more comfortable with finding a therapist or a psychologist or whoever it is. Uh, but I also learned quite a bit about other mental health care professionals that I didn't uh, know about. I learned, you know, that certain, you know, aside from psychiatrists, there are certain mental health professionals who can prescribe medications. There are certain uh, mental health professionals who can diagnose certain forms of mental illness. She also talks about different levels of care. Um, and treatment methods and everything like that. Like my only critique, my only critique of this book is towards the end, the last couple chapters didn't really fit with the book. It kind of seemed like it fell off. Um, it, it just started talking about like, just like um, different forms of treatment that like, it seemed like it could have been a completely separate book because it kind of like rushed through them. You know what I'm saying? but it's still an amazing book. I highly recommend that you check it out. Then we got Lori Gottlieb's book, bestseller. Um, and I, I don't, I can't even do it justice. Like I, I recommend both these books. They'll be linked down in the description, but Lori Gottlieb's book, it is, what's the exact title for it? Let me, let me see. I'm pulling up my audible app on my computer. Uh, maybe you should talk to someone, a therapist, her therapist, and our lives, okay? So Lori Gottlieb is a incredible storyteller. And like when I started it, because I'm a writer too, and when I started it, I'm like, God, her storytelling is phenomenal. And then as you read the book, you learn why. Like she like majored in a certain type of English degree. She became a writer. She was one of the original writers for Friends and ER. Um, then she did some freelance journalism and she loves books. Boom. You got an amazing writer and a therapist. So in this book, it is just this perfect blend. Okay. Like in Katie Morton's book, she talks about how therapists need therapists, right? Like therapists are people too. Mental health professionals are people too. So in Lori Gottlieb's book, it is a very personal and vulnerable story. I don't want to spoil it too much, but from the get-go, um, she had a major relation, uh, relationship problem, life-changing problem. So she discusses her own path to getting therapy, but she also has these stories about a few different clients that she works with, right? And she talks about that relationship, what she learns about herself while treating them. I think it's so important to understand, you know, your therapist is not only human, but they're actively working on themselves. They might not even realize things about themselves, which is why they go to therapy. But something I absolutely loved about it is it was kind of like Katie's Morton book, Katie Morton's book, describing therapy but she intertwines it perfectly, right? So like Lori Gottlieb, she'll be sharing a story, a conversation with a client, and as she's sharing that story, she talks about different therapeutic techniques, what they're there for, right? Like some of my favorites, since I'm a little bit of a tough love kind of guy, is like personal responsibility, right? That if you want your life to change, like you have to take responsibility for it. You know, but she also talks about breaking down different layers and helping, you know, clients come to their own answers and why therapists don't just straight up give you the answers. But, um, but yeah, when, the, when I finished this book, I didn't want it to be over. It's such an incredible story. Um, there are some very like touching moments with her clients and everything like that. Like 
I can't describe it. So basically what I'll end with is if you want a better understanding of just like therapy and like finding a therapist, Katie Morton's book is the book for you. But if you, if you are more into storytelling, like I'm not a fiction reader. I don't read biographies, even though that's something I really want to get into. But like, if you're into like fiction, if you're into storytelling, you need to get Maybe You Should Talk to Someone by Lori Gottlieb. I highly recommend both, right? I think that you should read all the books, all the books on therapy, psychology, self-improvement, all those types of things, okay? But yeah, I, I, I rank them both up there, you know? Um, a lot of books are written by psychologists um, and others, not many therapists. There are a few therapists I know of who write books, but... Uh, these are two of my favorites thus far. So if you want to support a YouTuber, go show Katie Morton some love. Check out her book, but also check out Lori Gottlieb's book. And surprise, Lori Gottlieb actually reached out to me on Twitter, and she's going to be on the podcast next week. I'm doing the interview this weekend. So make sure that you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. If you have any questions about therapy, make sure you leave them down in the comments below, how to find a good therapist, what therapy is like, whatever it is, all right? But... Anyways, like I said, during this time of social distancing, read, work on yourself, check out the video I did yesterday, social distancings can screw your mental health up, all right? We got to be taking care of ourselves, and one of the best things that you can do is learn more about yourself and all the things that your wacky mind is doing, and connect with others, you know, from a safe distance. That is what technology is for, you know? But... Again, like I keep talking about it, like online therapy is an option, okay? Like I use BetterHelp Online Therapy. I have had an affiliate link um, in the description and pinned comment with them for a while now. I've been personally using BetterHelp for a year now. And my therapist is amazing. Like since I learned so much about different forms of therapy, like I'll be like, hey, you know, I, I think this form of therapy sounds good for me. Um, for six, seven months now, we've been doing rational emotive behavioral therapy. I really like that. She gives me like worksheets and, you know, journaling exercises. And she often calls on like, um, you know, different methods from REBT when we're having our conversation. So if you would like to try BetterHelp Online Therapy, there's an affiliate link in the description, in the pinned comment. All that means is that you get affordable online, amazing therapy, and a little bit comes back to help support the channel. All right, and I will also link both of these books down below, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who buys my mental health books at therewiredsoul.com. And make sure you go to therewiredsoul.com slash shop. All of my eBooks and audio books are on sale, 25% off if you use the code rewired, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.